we are back work on the boat. Uh, we're gonna start off with trying to clean up some of this wiring under here. Um, there's just a ton, a ton of wires. I don't know what any of it is. Some stuff's still attached. Some stuff's just cut and hanging. Um, I don't really know what any of it is. So I'm just gonna start pulling shit apart and trying to figure out what's what. I was able to get the radio hooked up just to kind of test it and make sure everything would work there. So here's one speaker running off of it right now. So I think before we really get into that, because next step is going to be uh, starting to tuck everything back, clean up all the wiring, um, and then starting to put in the speakers, right? So we're going to be putting in a new speaker here and a new speaker there. Um, but we also need to redo some of these side panels here. Obviously, this is all flaking off. These back ones are completely loose, which these need to be solid because that's what holds that back seat in. Um, so I think we're going to start uh, looking behind the paneling here and figuring out how to get this panel off so we can start working on that. All right, we're slowly getting this off. There is a bunch of bolts all the way down this that have uh, nuts and washers on the back of them. It's just very hard to get to them. But I got majority of them out. Hard for you to see, but I just found out there's actually uh, lights that light this whole cabinet up down here. So I thought that was pretty neat. Um, they definitely don't work right now, but that'll be good to, uh, that we already got wires ran for. We just gotta figure out which switch runs it. Um, and then we can hopefully get that all working again. So for now, I'm gonna cut the, uh, I'm gonna cut all the wiring that's going down here, which is basically speaker wires and those lights. I'm just gonna cut those for now. We can redo those later. And I think, I think we got one more bolt up here somewhere that I can't find. Um, got to be somewhere back here I just can't feel it anywhere but let me uh, let me keep looking for that all right we're able to find those last couple screws there's actually uh two screws back in here that were holding it in so we got those out got the whole panel off um and I'm pretty happy we got this thing out I mean this definitely needs some attention um these blue pieces need to be redone the actual the actual sheet itself is in really good shape um there's a little dark spot in the back, but I'm not really too worried about that. The rest of it's pretty uh, pretty solid, so that should be good. Um, but now we can get to these screws here, um, so we can replace two of the strips. Um, this blue one across the top, that's all going to get redone, and that white one across the bottom. We'll redo that as well. Um, after we get that all taken out, we'll start cleaning all this junk out of here. We'll re-glue that carpet up. This is how all the wiring looks back there. So they're just hanging everywhere. So we'll get those all secured back up. We'll start putting the radio in, uh, put the speakers in and all that. And then we'll end up doing the same process over here because clearly uh, I know a lot of you have been talking about this in the comments about needing to pull this down and get this all fixed. So we'll, uh, we'll start working on that and start getting it all cleaned up.
right, so we finally got these panels all fully rebuilt. Um, that took a pretty good bit of time going through and redoing everything. So we got them cleaned up pretty nice. Um, there's still some, uh, some stains on here we're gonna get off once we get it back into the boat. Um, but this is the driver's side of the boat. Got the new speaker put in, rebuilt that top piece, got the back speaker put in, and then rebuilt these uh, seat brackets on the back. Um, so they're kind of off-centered. I thought that was wrong at first, but that's how it's supposed to be. Um, so the seat in the back that sits around the engine sits on top of this ledge. I guess this is kind of like an armrest. And then the other side of the seat uh, slides into here on the engine cover. So we were able to get all that replaced. Um, I have all of the bolts on the back set up so they're ready to go to put it right back in. And then I put a uh, LED strip in across the back here uh, to help light up those cabinets. Um, I have these same lights. They're actually truck bed lights. Um, I'll throw a little video in here of them inside my enclosed trailer. I have the same ones installed inside. So I have uh, these truck bed lights, they come in three strips, one for like each side of the truck bed. So I have one up here on the front bar, just kind of zip tied up and wired up. Um, one in, I think they're spaced out every two, every two rails across the top. So I got three in here in total, but um, these are great. I mean, they're, they were a little hard to get them to stick on this rail. Obviously they're upside down, um, but once I zip tied them up there, um, they do pretty well. Um, and I know in a past video I was talking about putting a, a little lead on the boat uh, for a trickle charger. This is what I have on the truck on the trailer here. So there's a little battery up front here that I have locked, and then I have a little uh, trickle charger lead coming off of here. So that's what runs the uh, electric winch or the electric jack on the front of it, um, and then all the power on the inside of the trailer. So these lights have been great. Um, figured it'd be a good uh, good one to throw on the boat as well. Good job, buddy. That is Landon, by the way. You guys haven't seen uh, the dogs very much. I don't think you guys have actually seen them at all, but we have two Huskies. Um, that's Landon. He's a Husky Elk Hound mix. Um, and then we have Lorenzo, wherever he's at. He is a uh, full Husky. So I'll see if we can find him real quick. There he is. He's the older one. He's a full uh, Siberian Husky, but he is, uh, he's three, Landon's a little bit behind him. Uh, but enough of them, we'll get back to the boat real quick. Here's the passenger side. This panel is a little more beat up uh, than the driver's side. This is ripped from the back engine cover, so that'll actually cover that up, but there's really no way for me to fix that without redoing the whole thing. Um, but same thing, got the seat uh, holders all put back, speakers in. Same thing with the front one. Um, so that one is good to go as well. Same thing, got the wiring hanging off the back for the lights. So we have all the wiring for that inside the boat. So it should just be plug and play. Interior is still gutted. I gotta fix that carpet still. The carpet glue didn't hold uh, from earlier in the video. So it ended up dropping back down. So I gotta re-secure all that, vacuum everything out in here. But again, we got wires in here for the speakers. Same thing in the front. And then down here we have the wires for the lights. So. Uh, Next video, we're gonna start off with getting those panels put back in. Uh, we'll re-secure everything, get that all cleaned up, um, so that way it's good to go. Same thing on the passenger side. I still need to run the speaker wire up under this cabinet up here for this front one. This one over here is already hooked up, so I just gotta finish the other one on the left side. This panel is all rebuilt and installed. It's not perfect um, at all, but it's a lot better than it was before. I still have the white handle I got to put on there. Uh, the bolts that I have are a little short, um, so I just got to get some longer bolts for it. I tried finding a new one because uh, the one that was in there was a little stained and dirty, um, but I'm not finding one that's going to match up uh, with these already existing holes in the vinyl. So we'll probably just clean that one a little better. Um, we'll throw that one in. And then the dashboard, we got pretty much everything working on the dash. All the lights are working. I figured out what all the switches are for. Um, I was able to get this all put back together. 12 volt plug works. I was actually able to get the depth finder to work. And then biggest part, we were able to get the radio installed. And it's got a uh, aux cord and a USB port too. Underneath the dash, 
We got all the wiring cleaned up. We got the uh, horn set up. That all works now. We got the um, wireless receiver. So this radio doesn't actually have a head unit. This is basically just like a remote control essentially. Um, as soon as you turn the boat on, if their Bluetooth is connected, it just immediately connects and starts playing the music. So there's no actual like head unit, head unit. This is literally just a little panel with a couple buttons on it, but it came out pretty nice. Redid all the wiring under here. These wires, this runs a light in the walkway there and then it goes underneath. There's another walk, another light in the back of this cabinet on the other side. It has the speaker wire hooked up to it um, and another light in the front. So there's that light, there's your speaker. And then there's the last light up front. Uh, so I got all the wiring for that all re-ran and tucked in under there so it's all hidden. Again, still gotta do this side over here. Um, but real quick, I'll show you the dash. Turn the key, radio clicks on. That noise is showing that the Bluetooth disconnected. Um, top one's your horn. Um, this one is your lights. So it controls the lights in the front and the light post that goes in the back there. Bilge pump, blower motor. These ones over here, this one runs my depth finder. So when you flick that one on, it sends power to that. I still need to set this all back up and put it down. I didn't know if it worked, so I didn't bother leaving it down there. I pulled it out now that I know it works. Uh, at least the gauge works. We'll get that all thrown back in and test all that out. Um, the This switch right here runs your dash lights. Really hard to tell right now, but all the gauges are lit up. This, this one runs your uh, lighting down here. So that light and that one will probably end up replacing that with LED lights. This switch, this is the only one that I still need to confirm. So I know this one sends power to the light that's in here which is right here so with that switch off that does not have power i'm curious if that switch also runs power to these wires it's pretty easy to test that i just haven't had a chance to test it yet um, or if those lights work with the other switch that runs all the other lighting so that's really the only thing that i don't know yet um, that i still need to figure out but we got a lot done in the interior. Uh, once we get these panels all thrown back in, um, I'll really be able to scrub everything down. It's kind of hard. I had them up on the saw horses trying to scrub them down, um, which is good, but I don't want to push on it too hard and, and bend it and start cracking the wood. So once we get them all bolted up and secured in here, it'll be a little easier to scrub them down and clean it. Um, I think before we get the seats and all back in, we're probably gonna go drop this in the water and test it out, uh, make sure that everything's good see if we have any leaks or anything that we need to look at before we start rebuilding it all and putting it all back together. Um, just to make sure that we're not putting in all the interior pieces and then we have to work around it if there's another problem we gotta fix. So I think the next video we'll start off with throwing the interior all back together, get all the wires tucked, carpet hidden, um, and then probably go drop it in the water as is without seats, uh, see how we're looking, and then go from there. Um, another thing that I figured out, but I still need to figure it out, this uh, little switch right here, this actually runs those exhaust um, solenoids back here, or flaps, whatever you want to call them. I have them zip tied open right now, um, but when I pull this switch out, I don't think you'll be able to hear it on camera. You might be able to hear that. That's the uh, the relay back here in this uh, in this box clicking right here. So. That's the switch for it. Sounds like it's got power. Um, it just sounds like the actual valves aren't opening on their own. Um, so maybe we can look at potentially getting replacement ones. Uh, I'm not 100% sure yet, but at least we're able to figure out how to control it um, and figure out what this was for. At first, it looked like a choke lever, um, but it obviously is not. So got that all situated. Um, but yeah, interior is coming along. I'm really excited to get those panels back in. That was a, a pretty pretty big task at least it seemed like it in the beginning um, just because I wasn't really familiar with how they bolted in and how they were all secured and I didn't really know um, if it was gonna be easier not to replace everything on the inside so now that that's done that's a pretty good step um, but yeah I think that's gonna wrap up this video um, should have another one out here in the next couple of days and that way we'll be able to uh, drop this thing in the water and hopefully uh, get it running in the water make sure we don't have any leaks Make sure everything's working um, and then hopefully start putting the seats back in. So stay tuned for the next video and thank you for watching.